for me, it was such a relief to kind of face this. Again, I know I'm not going to go see one in the wild, but this trained wolf is like, you know, this, this was a huge step for me in the way of like, face it, face your fear, you know, things, we came out the other side of it. And that for me was a huge, huge step forward, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. And I think this is a big like lesson for everybody listening and watching here is like facing it, facing it. Cause I can tell you the, the biggest, my biggest misstep in my PTSD and the things that I went through was not facing it. So I was always of the opinion and thought I was making the educated decision to just avoid all triggers, like triggers for you being like, what are the, might be dogs or the woods. For me, it was certain areas of the city or, you know, uh, TV shows and facing, I didn't face it. I, I, uh, I stayed away from it. And the way it was described from, to me was like, if you do that, you're, it's like trying to hold down a beach ball under the water. Yeah, eventually, eventually that thing's yeah. just going to pop up. So because, you know, case you dealt with this at, you know, 12, 13, 14 years old, I don't want to speak for you, but I feel like that is why you're able to, you know, you don't, you're still going out in the woods. You're still going and doing all these things More than ever. <laughs> that made you who you are, mm-hmm. you know, like, cause that's a big part of your livelihood. And so like, you know, if you got a problem, you need to face it and, you know, get somehow, and you know what? You got help to do it. It wasn't yeah. just on your own. 